everyone, rise and shine. It is 11 a.m. today on a Wednesday. Today is gonna be a very busy day because it is my podcast upload day, it is my work day, I have a few meetings. I'm going to Paris next week, I'm so excited. A few videos back, I did a productive day in my life where it was very much work day focused, like kind of what I actually do, how long things actually take, and you guys really seem to enjoy that, and so today we've got a lot to do. This morning, I did my hair, I did my makeup, got changed, I have just made a little chai latte for myself this morning if you haven't already make sure to subscribe give this video a thumbs up and watch my past few videos because I have a lot of fun content that I've just posted and content that is coming We're back at my desk. The podcast setup is set up. The only thing that I'm missing is that I have to bring my computer over there, but I'll do that closer to when I actually start filming. In the meantime, it's 11.14. I have a meeting at 12. I'm gonna quickly jot down a bunch of notes for what I wanna talk about. I have a few emails to answer regarding Paris Fashion Week and some texts to answer. And that's what I'm gonna do until 12. Okay, next up, we've got a meeting with my podcast team. Ooh, ooh. I've never hopped on a meeting with them, so I'm kind of nervous. Hi, Bern, how are you? Hi, I'm good, how are you? Good, thank you. I'll just walk you through setting up your profile on Red Circle so that we can kind of get you opted into ads. And then I'll talk a little bit about like ads and things. I would love to hear a little bit about your podcast, how I'm doing it, just kind of the general idea and, and what you enjoy about it. So my podcast is called A Better You. So I guess so with that title, you can probably assume it's about like becoming the best version of yourself. I already do YouTube. So that is a lot of like lifestyle and wellness and daily vlogs where I'm like working out and eating healthy and stuff. And and I guess I would do a lot of even kind of like how to be your best self for the new year and those kind of advice okay. videos. And I would always be talking for so long and having to cut down these videos to like 10, 15 minutes. And so it got to a point where I was like, I'm just cutting out so much like things that I know could go somewhere else. So that yeah. kind of inspired me to make a podcast because I love to talk and I'm like, this will be the perfect like platform where I can just speak my mind and like the people that want to listen to that longer form content can. And yeah. it's also just like a way to evolve myself. So I started my podcast in in March of this year. First meeting is done. I've just been eating some crackers and borsten cheese. That meeting was with the podcast team. It was basically to figure out how to use their platform and how to get ads running on my podcast, which is super exciting. I am so excited to have my podcast be monetized, which I guess sounds kind of weird because I'm saying that there's going to be ads placed on it, but I feel like that's a... It's like a step up when you are the actual person doing it because obviously you're gonna get paid for it, which is great. But now we have five more minutes until my next meeting. And this meeting is with my PR team people. So we're just gonna discuss New York Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, some articles that I did, which is exciting, some podcast features, all of the above, which is all super exciting things. I guess if you guys are curious, I have like five minutes to explain it, but I was always confused about what a PR team meant before I started social media. And turns out that almost every single celebrity influencer, not all of them, but a lot of them that you see usually have a PR team. And the PR team is in charge of getting them into events or when they go to events, doing magazines, doing covers, doing um, basically anything that involves press. And so I decided to try it out just to see what it was like. Just, you know, it's very helpful to have during like New York Fashion Week or Paris Fashion Week, or if you're doing Miami Swim Week or basically like big press things. And then, you know, for the release of my podcast and to kind of bring some amp to it and kind of bring like awareness to it and to just kind of really establish what your personal brand is. Cause that is so important when you are doing social media or kind of like crafting your way, if that makes sense. There's a few more exciting things that I want to talk to her about. So so I'm excited to get that sorted. I think it's a Zoom call, which means she's gonna see my face. And I'm pretty sure I just disabled my camera on the computer for some reason. So I need to figure out how to fix that. And then we're gonna hop on the call. It shouldn't take longer than like 30 minutes, except I really need some coffee. And also don't mind the fact that my desk is so messy right now. Hi. 
Hello. I just wanted to ask if we could have a meeting just to talk about. It's like 2 p.m. right now. I have been wearing outfits like this all week long since I was filming my Sophia Richie video, but I'm kind of obsessed with it. It's honestly so chilly outside, so this is just what I need, but I'm really hungry and I'm craving a sandwich. So random. So I think we're gonna go to Brecca and get a coffee, get a sandwich, and then come back here and start filming the podcast because I need some fuel. I need to eat before I start spewing what I need to say. And I feel like I need some energy, like I need a coffee or something. Like I am tired. Okay, so let's go on a little adventure we have a little walk ahead of us we've got our apple headphones on these are the air maxes if anyone was wondering i always get asked questions on these but yeah i believe i mentioned it in my previous video but i just got this bag from pauline paris and i am just truly obsessed with it i'm so happy that i have it now and i'm so excited because me and trinity just booked an appointment to go to the store in paris i think we're gonna pick a bag out when we're there which is so exciting let's head on over there kind of cold i'm so scared for this winter season to come not even because of like oh mood whatever no i'm so scared because i do not want to have eczema again and every time it gets really cold even last year i tried to prevent it for so long and i still had it and it made my eyebrows fall out so i am so scared for the winter season to come also guys do you think that i should redecorate like i've had those posters on my wall since last year in may and i'm like do we need a furniture revamp absolutely not in terms of like paying like why would i need to spend money to do it all again but at the same time, I'm like, do we need a revamp? filming my podcast that took so long it's literally like 12 right now and i'm so tired so i'm gonna get ready for bed tomorrow's gonna be a really busy day i think i'm just going to talk to you guys tomorrow i'm going straight to sleep <laughs> first shop and we are actually at Oaken Fort. There's Trinity in the back. I'm so excited. We are being gifted items by Oaken Fort, which I'm so thankful for. Thank you, Oaken Fort. We are looking around and everything is the vibe. I'm overstimulated. It's all Paris. It's all Paris. If you guys haven't shopped at Oaken Fort before, I highly recommend it. I'm not sure if Oaken Fort is a Canadian brand, but I always see it in like Canada. But you guys have to shop there because everything is so cute. I'm gonna show you guys some of my favorite pieces and then what I end up picking out. I already have my hands on this trench coat because I absolutely need it, but everything is giving per it's giving fall and it's giving all the vibes we need. So we're just gonna shop around. I'm so excited! stuff here i have so much to pick from i'm so excited trinity's on this side look at all the cute stuff yes. i'm gonna try everything on she's gonna bring me some ballet flats because i've been dying to try some on as well and then after i try everything on i'll show you guys what it looks like this is the before <laughs>
Good morning, everyone. Today is actually the first official day of fall. It is September 22nd as I film this video. I truly cannot believe fall is upon us. I just woke up an hour ago and I'm starting to do my morning skincare because that is essential for me whenever I start my morning routine. That's not the vibe. Guys, I'm actually having a smoothie collaboration with House Concepts in the month of October, which if you didn't know, that is my birthday month. I actually turned 22 on October 14th, which is literally insane, but House Concepts invited me to do a little collaboration where I can have my own smoothie with them for the month of October. So we're gonna do some tasting today and I think it's gonna be pumpkin related which I'm really excited for so together let's head on over to house concepts let's try out some drinks and then let's stop by to a little coffee shop to do some work of our own and get our own little coffee because I need my morning coffee that's one thing I'm looking so puffy right now I can definitely feel the cold weather coming in and the sleeps are just hitting extra hard I feel like if you're from like Vancouver or somewhere that's a little bit chilly you just know when it gets cold the sleeps are unreal it's actually really difficult to get up in the morning for today's fall makeup we're gonna do just a very quick light easy look it's gonna be very bronzy and just you know good for all day every day back in what is the reaction we're getting out of here i'm not quite sure are you guys gonna be like yes fernanda you slayed you look cute as hell or are you guys gonna be like fernanda no we liked your short hair better honestly i don't know and even myself i was like do i want to put my extensions back in but this is my this is my debate and you guys can tell me what you think i'm going to paris next week should i do like the cut short hair cigarette red rouge lipstick lip smudged a little messy makeup chic parisian okay that is one aesthetic or long hair palace of versailles like <laughs> that i could be saying that so wrong bow in my hair eiffel tower long locks curled you know what i mean i was debating between the aesthetics and i have had my natural hair which is kind of short since like may and it's september end of september so i was like you know what let's just do it let's put them in i got them cut though they used to be probably like up to here maybe longer and I got them just right above my chest area, which I think is better because my short hair was giving like, you know when it's not short and it's not long, it's like right here and it's just like, what even is that? That's what it was giving. Um, so anyways, I'm super excited to have my extensions back in. Honestly, I've discovered, and I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing, but my hair is truly, I think, what brings me confidence and I just feel so much more powerful. I feel more myself. I feel like having these pieces here, you guys know, that's like my signature look with my curled hair and like when I think of what does Fernanda look like that's what I think of you know what I mean so I'm happy to have them back I got them put in yesterday and I'm feeling pretty good I feel like it's cute for the fall I'm not gonna keep them in for that long I don't think because I do want to grow out my natural hair I mean the obvious goal would be that my hair looks like this on its own but I don't know if you realize how much hair is added into this like I don't know if it's possible for my hair to look like this on its own there's so much added hair anyways let's pick an outfit and let's go over to house concepts because I'm so late Okay, I finally made it to House Concepts. We are going to start testing smoothie recipes. I'm so excited. I also never showed you guys my outfit, but I'm just wearing a black sweater, black pants, some little Adidas Sambas, and this leather tote bag. This is so freaking good. Um, 
Look at how cute this looks. No, looks it looks so like a little tiny. I like the little mini. Cute. Right? It's so cute. Open up the window I'm breathing in 